All right. Hello, everybody. It's your comfort YouTuber, I hope. I don't know. You know, one could argue that hot chocolate is definitely more comforting than I am. Yeah, it's definitely more comforting than I am. Anything's more com anything that beats hot chocolate in comfort is non-existent, to the very least. So, we hit 100 subscribers on the channel. Let us do a and a Let's get straight into it, guys. I got questions on Discord, on Instagram. So, yeah, I look forward to answering some questions. Let's do this. So I got everything open over here. You guys should be able to see. Let me move over so you guys can see the questions. So the first thing we're gonna we're gonna answer is: Are we gonna see a day in the life vlog of photos? I think you meant to say we're gonna see a day in the life of photos nearby. But I do have another channel where I do vloggy stuff. Uh, you look back at some of my older content; it's absolutely terrible because I had no idea what I was doing. So do check that out. It's photos nearby, just straight up. <laughs> my other channel so yeah um, if I ever do a vlog in the future it will definitely be uploaded there uh, maybe if this video hits should we set a like goal all right if this video hits 35 likes um, I'll do a day in the life well it'll be a quarantine edition and then we'll make a bunch of editions there I'll view farm with that <laughs> next question we got our next question next question is favorite TV show slash series of all time I wonder, I don't know, a favorite TV show. I love watching movies more than I do watch TV shows. But in terms of what TV shows I watch, I do watch a lot of comedy stuff. So things like The Office, uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Parks and Rec, um, The Good Place. Well, basically Michael Schur's stuff. I like anything that's done by Michael Schur. His stuff is very good. All right, so my friend here, Moogle6116. Rank all the players by tier in your group from S being the highest and D being lowest. NA if you are not sure. Um, or do it in our group. If you don't want to do it in our group, you can do it with your friends. Um, well, in our group, uh, Mir, Nicho, and Blair. Them three S tier. Easy. They're the best players in our group. Second comes Ali and Josh. And I probably just come like on a D tier, like all the way below them. They always carry me to my dubs and everything, you know? <laughs> if you watch my videos, I'll leave the one where they carried me to a dub. Check that out. And much appreciated. Boom. Next question. Nipples or T... What? Are you okay? Do you need help? Want me to buy you a large pizza and a soda and, you know, ship it over to your house? Because, you know. What? Stop it. Get some help. Moving on. What made me start streaming? Well, okay. Let's make this one quick. I started streaming because I wanted to play video games and have an excuse as to I was being productive. And, you know, obviously the first thing that comes to mind is just streaming it on Twitch. And because I would, well, you know, I didn't want to grow or anything at first. I just wanted an excuse to play video games. So I'd be like, okay. I just turn the stream on, I can play games, I don't have to edit anything, I'll be fine. But then over time, I've started to learn how much I just love this whole streaming thing. And so I've been putting effort into YouTube and everything as well. So, you know, character development. <laughs> if I do say so myself, of course, you're all gonna judge me on that. But yeah, before I say anything stupid, let's keep moving uh, forward. So AC Flag asks, why did I decide to start YouTube with COD? Well, I stream COD mostly, right? So my biggest game is Warzone. Uh, in terms of both hours streamed and hours viewed on Twitch. And so evidently I had a lot of content uh, surrounding COD stacked up. And yeah, that's just why. Because I just had a lot of content just there lying around. So yeah, that's why I started to do YouTube with COD. And then she follows up with face reveal. Ew. I know, I know this is not the hottest thing out there, but you know, it's a face. Yeah, totally not gonna get memed after doing that. All right, next question. Kami Ope asks, "How am I such a good gamer?" Who's gonna tell her? Uh, I guess just roll the clip. Yeah, roll the clip. On that. Oh crap, dude, this guy wants smoke. 
No wait! Oh my. All right, my camera's going a little bit berserk here, but Noi Stovolada Priv asks, what's my sign? Well, I mean, my room's empty. If I could get a sign right there, I'd like to put like a giant, you know, sign that says, uh, subscribe to my channel. You know, leave a like on the video, comment. <laughs> oh my God, shame self promotion right there. Anyhow, all right, I'm assuming she's asking about astrology. I'm not really into it. I'll just tell you, I am a saggy asparagus. Um, I was born December the 15th, for those who are curious. So, yeah, that's my astronomical sign, whatever it's called. But, yeah, there we go. So, that concludes the Instagram questions. Let's quickly switch over to Discord, because I got a couple of questions just sitting there, too. All right, let's do this, guys. All right, so, there we go. Camera is still. What are, so, Center of UK asks, what are my favorite subjects to photograph? Uh, well, I mostly do wildlife. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, which is also at photos nearby, I'll leave it linked in the description. Uh, I love wildlife photography, mainly animals and uh, landscapes. You'll come across, uh, well, you know, natural landscapes. Um, yeah, those are just my favorite subjects to photograph. And if I could travel to any three countries for free to take pictures, which countries would I visit? I would definitely visit Kenya. Um, just, you know, I've always wanted to go to the Savannah and, you know, take pictures or even South Africa, Kenya or South Africa, um, to travel to Africa. And then I would also like to travel to Canada. Um, Alberta has some very nice lakes from what I've seen and I've always wanted to see a moose. If you've never talked to me about wildlife, you probably don't know about this, but I am absolutely in love with the moose. Hands down, finest animal out there. And the third country I would travel to, I'd probably, mm, that's a hard one. I'd go to Australia just because they have everything like freak size there. And, you know, kangaroos will try to drown you in the lake. But if I can take a photo, I'm happy. I'll die happy. So, yeah. All right. All right. So, Fieri Fairy asked me, what inspired to start doing YouTube or what got me interested in photography? I'll answer both. I'm, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> So what inspired me to start doing YouTube? I always found, you know, making videos to be a lot of fun. I've always liked doing, you know, this sort of thing. But the starting photography is a little more interesting, I would say. Because, so in my old school, I originally applied to do theater. But the class size was too small. So my class got shut down and we got moved to a class called Publications. I wasn't a big fan of writing back then. So I initially avoided the class thinking, you know, it was like publication. So like, you know, making a book or something. Now, turns out it was the class that was responsible for making the yearbook. So it involved a lot of photography, a lot of camera work and all that stuff. So I ended up getting really hooked on to photography after receiving some praise for some earlier photos I took. So yeah, that's just what really got me into photography. There we go. Next question. Oh, number four, bitch baby. Lovely name. What's my goal for YouTube? What audience do I want to appeal to? Well, it's a series of questions. I'll answer all of them. Um, my goal for YouTube is just create a vibrant community. I just really want to get to know people. Uh, a great way to connect people all over the world. And uh, what audience do I want to appeal to? I just want it to be a welcoming, again, the community thing, right? I just want it to be an audience where I can just capture everybody's imagination. I can vibe with everybody, essentially have a uh, good time. And... Uh, is there any message you want to spread through YouTube? Um, well, the biggest message that I want, do want to spread is one that I usually remind everybody at the end of my streams is don't forget to be yourself because it makes the world a better place. Um, if you've heard that before, it's because it's heavily influenced by Casey Rice. Uh, she's a dancer. And I was personally, I don't dance. I've never danced in my life. I'm a stick if I try to dance. Like, you could probably put a stick next to me and dance better than I do. But she was a very big inspiration as to what I'd like to become in terms of how, how, what kind of influence I want to present to everybody, right? What kind of image I want to create of myself. So yeah, if you know her, then you definitely know where uh, my message comes from. Now, any concerns for the channel? Concerns? Well, you know, I'm obviously concerned about growth. But I am also personally worried that my content isn't great. Like obviously because I'm currently limited to the tech I have. So I can't capture things at 1080p just yet. 
maybe in the future. But yeah, it's just a concern that my quality isn't top notch or you know it's not good enough to compete with other people. All right, and moving on to the final question. All right, the final question comes from Chip Riot. He's a fellow streamer. So don't forget, I'll leave his link down below. You know, ooh, Center Decay is also a streamer. You know, I'll leave all the streamers who just ask questions links down below in the description. Man, go show them some love. Again, community, important. So how long have I been doing YouTube? Oh, this is a very simple one. Uh, I've been doing YouTube for about three years now, you know, just going on and off. My earlier videos are absolutely dreadful. Overall, it just slowly improves bit and bit. It's very cliche because I made a lot of vlog content. Um, that's evidently inspired by people like Casey Neistat and all that. So, yeah. Those are all the questions answered. Cool. All right, everybody. Oh, no! All right, no, not again. But I'm momento numero dos. All right, third time's a charm. There we go. All right, everybody, thanks so much for asking questions this q and I've had a blast answering them. I look forward to making more content soon. Next week, guys, I'm making a death com compilation. I got a couple of death coms just stacked up here. If anything, uh, more death coms show up in my gameplay in the future. Those will definitely be included next week. So please stick around. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and like the video because, you know, it helps the channel grow. And uh, yeah. Don't forget to check me out on my other socials, uh, Twitch, uh, Instagram, TikTok. It's all photos nearby. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Don't forget to be yourselves. Makes the world a better place.